delights and away they go. Terrence Anthony Way is Australia's top professional BMX rider. He is the Open National Champion in both 20-inch and cruiser classes and was runner-up in the NBL Grand National and ABA Gold Cup in the US last year. Anthony won the Phillips Foot $2,000 Pro-Am race at this year's Castle Hill Orange Blossom Challenge and spent a week leading up to the event running a coaching clinic at the Castle Hill BMX Complex. The first thing we're going to do today is stretching of our muscles and our body parts. It's most important to stretch your muscles before your race as um, it warms the muscles up and stretches them and um, gets them ready for the race. Now our first part we'll stretch today is our hamstrings on the back of our legs here. We're going to stretch the hamstrings. We, we bend down, touch our toes and straighten our legs as much as possible. And hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now that's our hamstring stretched. The next part will stretch our quadriceps on the front. To stretch the quadriceps, hold one arm out to balance yourself. Place your right foot in your right hand. Pull your right foot up as far as possible. Hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll stretch your other leg. One, two, three, four, five. And that's our leg stretched. Okay, our next body part will stretch is the tricep. The tricep muscle is placed under the bicep. Here we have the bicep. Here we have the tricep. To stretch a tricep, we place our hand in the middle of our back, like so. Use the other arm to pull the left arm further down the back. Hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we'll do the other arm, same thing. In the middle of our back, pulling it down, <coughs> holding for five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's our arm stretched. Okay, now our last thing we'll do to warm ourselves up before our race is some tuck jumps. To do the tuck jump, squat down, place your hands on the ground, and jump as high as you can off your balls of your feet. Okay, one, we'll do five of these. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're ready to go for some action. BMX is a great, clean sport which can involve the whole family. But like any sport, the most important aspect is safety. That's where the racing gear comes into it. Here we have the full length racing suit. The jersey now features a padding in the elbow and arm to protect these parts from scratches and cuts. We also have a full finger glove which features a padded palm to protect the hand from scratches and cuts. Next we have the racing pants. The racing pants feature a scratch and tear proof substance and also a full padding in the knee down to the ankle to protect the knee and leg from scratches and cuts. You don't have to spend $150 on racing gear. All you need to start BMX is a tracksuit. The tracksuit must have long sleeve arms like this to protect the arms and elbows from scratches and cuts because occasionally in BMX racing you do have the occasional spill and also you must have the full length tracksuit pants to protect the knees and legs from cuts and scratches. The most important part in BMX racing is protection of the head. This is where the helmet comes into it. Helmets are made of a high impact fiberglass shell. This is the full face model which features a fully molded mouth protection to protect the mouth, face and lips in case a rider has a fall. Next we have the open face helmet, like this. Now the open face helmet doesn't feature the fully molded mouth protection so when wearing an open face helmet, you must wear one of these mouth traps. The BMX is a great fun sport. Remember, play it safe and do the right thing. Always wear the right racing gear and always wear a helmet.
Watch the lights and away they go. Rostrum got away pretty smartly and so did Wright. I think Wright might have the lead at this stage. Over the jumps they go. Rostrum decided to jump it and I think that might have been the edge he needed. No, Wright still got the lead as they go around through the first corner. They're cranking it pretty hard. We've got Gary Wright out there in front. Mark Rostrum back into the second position. Third place is being held down by Grosso. Coming up to the commentary corner. Can Wrighty go on with it? Around the corner he goes. Williams is nearly spun out there. He slowed the rest of the field. Gary Wright and Mark Rostrum are having a great battle there. It's the SMC rider from Castle Hill. Harry Wright is cranking it pretty hard now. Now Rostrum's there. Gary Wright's old man is doing handstands at the bottom of the tower here. It'll be Gary Wright going to the line in for a great win. Second position going to go. That brings us to the bike. The most important thing in BMX racing is for the rider to have the correct size bike. Here we have Taylor Muxlow, the world champion in the 17 year old girls. Hi Tay. Hi Anthony. As you can see, Tay is perfectly suited to her bike as her knee is not too close to the handlebars. The handlebars are in proportion to her shoulders and also she has plenty of room for movement over her bike. My bike's a Pro Series, 20 inch. My bars are Pro Bars. My cranks are 175 millimetres long and my wheels are 20 by 1 and 3 eighths. What's the light and away they go. Burrow's got away pretty smartly on the inside. Muxlow's trying to match it with a Muxlow getting plenty of air over those double jumps. G jumps to the lead, heading into the first corner they go. It's the GT rider of Taylee Muxlow in front. Carlene Atley for Titans moved up alongside of the Elf rider to take over the second running. That's uh, Burrow's back in the third place, followed by uh, Barta. Around through the commentary corner they go. Here comes uh, the number 22 rider there, which is Carlene Atley throwing the challenge out to Muxlow, but it's still Muxlow over the double. These girls are getting plenty of air, but the GT rider, Lee Muxlow still holding off Carleen Atley. Third place is the uh, Elf Rider, which is Burrow, coming around through the last corner. It's the world champion and Australian champion, Taylee Muxlow. She's got it one and she knows it as she's going to the line. The great thing about the sport of BMX is that it's for all ages. And it can sometimes take you all over the world. As a matter of fact, the World Championships were held in Toulon, France this year, and Trent Barrett won the World Championships for Australia. And he's only seven years of age. As you can see, Trent rides a junior-sized BMX bike which has small handlebars, small wheels, short length cranks, and a low gear ratio. Now tell me about the race in France, Trent. Well, I got gate eight and I had a good start and I led from the start to finish. That's excellent. Now was it a close race? No, I won by 15 bike lengths. Watch the lights and away they go. Webb got away pretty smartly there, but look at Kerr. Out of the jumps he goes. He's cranking it pretty hard, heading up towards the straightaway. Trent Barrett's the one that got the bike moving the quickest as they go around through the first corner. May's caught back in no man's land at this stage, but it's the world champion. Trent Barrett cranking it pretty hard there. Little Daniel Kerr's really cranking hard too as they come up the straightaway. May's trying to sneak through on the inside and he's moved there into the second position. Lynch is running back there in about the fourth plate. But look at the world champion go racing for the rat racing team. He's really cranking it hard. Adam May still holding on to that second position. Kerr's coming back at him again. Nobody can catch Barrett. The head's bobbing up and down. Here comes Kerr. He's coming at May. Trent Barrett's going to take this race out and the seven boys going to the line will be May for the second position. Third place went to Kerr. Follow. Okay, now I want everyone to have their pedals right in the correct position. Just beside the back chain stay there. Is that that? Okay, then let's balance up now. Plenty of pressure on our front foot and our back leg against the seat. Get your pedal right now. Your pedal set correctly. Okay, balancing up, plenty of pressure on your front foot, using your back leg against the seat. That's good. Looking at the gate. Okay, you got your hands correct. Good boy. Pushing hard. Excellent. Okay, Trent, balance up for me. Get your pedal set correct. Good. Hands on the handlebars, get your pedal set correctly. Okay, balancing up, plenty of pressure on your front foot, back leg against the seat. Good stuff. Looking at the gate. Get your hand set correct. Excellent. Okay, come on, try it again. Balance up. Push hard. Pushing hard on the gate. Good. You got it this time. Excellent. Okay, Rochelle, balance up. So get your hand correct set. That's it. Looking good. Plenty of pressure on your front foot. Okay, Sean. Set your pedal right. Good. That's excellent. Now you got your hand, remember about this hand, okay. Straighten your legs up a bit, can you? Good, and bend your elbows out a bit. Sort of stand up a bit straighter, like up, sort of get your upper body up more, that's better. Good. That's more like it. Okay, Aaron, show me what you can do. Balance up, plenty of pressure. Okay, straighten your back leg up, can you? Straighten it up. Good. Okay, think about this hand around the handlebar a bit more. Once you wrap it around a bit, that's better. Now lift your pedal up. 
And again, and another one, try. That's better, good. Okay, looking at the gate. Okay, plenty of pressure using that back leg against the seat, remember that? The other leg, other, other leg. This one here, good. Okay, watch the gate. Balancing. Okay, don't rub around too far, just now like that. Good boy. Okay, pedal right. Good. Okay, think about that second pedal, okay? Good, plenty of pressure on the front foot. And remember, down the straight, keeping your head up. Okay, everyone ready for a start, balancing up. Plenty of pressure on your front foot. Using your arms, using your handlebars smoothly down the straight, and keeping your head up. Okay, let's get a good start this time. Okay, riders. Are you all okay? Riders ready. Watch the lights. Okay, then see how I come into the corner low? And as I get to the top of the corner, put the power on, get all the way out of the corner to the next jump. What you've got to remember is pedaling close to the first step up jump here, okay? So pedaling all the way to the jump, then using your brake as you come into the corner, keep it low, and get the power on earlier as you come out. Any questions? Okay, get your helmets on and Let's go and do it. Okay, keep pedaling all the way to the jump, that's good. Keep it nice and low. Down low. Okay, pedal again. That's good. A little bit too wide that time there, Alan. Good, Trent. Pedal again. Good. Keep it nice and low. Good. Pedal again. Good start. Get the power on early now. Come on, that's a bit high there. No, too wide that time. Got to keep it in tighter this time. Okay, let's have everyone to come down here now. Stop here in a group. Right. What we're going to do this time is get down the first straight, pedaling all the way to the first doubles. And who can jump the doubles here? Okay, now whoever jumps the doubles, I want them to jump the double, okay? And as you land, pedaling off the back of the double, okay? Pedaling all the way to this jump here, speed rolling the first jump of the triple, and then either jumping the second one, or scootering it, okay? Now the rest of you who don't jump it, I want you to pedal all the way to the doubles, pushing down hard over the doubles, okay? Pumping through them, and then pedaling down the back of the double, and then rolling all three of these, okay? Okay, let's go to the starting hill and do it in single file. Pedal again. Come on, look, you can pedal in there. That was smooth, just pedal, get a few pedals in there. Pedal again, good. Pushing down, keep it low. Come on, Tay, get some pedals in there. 